Hello. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the difference between objects versus classes in Java. Now, you'll sometimes hear me, instead of using the term objects, you'll hear me use the term instances of classes or instances. And I'm using that as an alternative for objects. Okay, so example of languages that use an object-oriented paradigm. Java, C++, C Sharp, and Python. There's many more, but these are four major ones. So what is an object? In object-oriented uh, programming, objects have the following. They have states, and we do that with fields in Java. And they have behaviors, and we do that with methods in Java. So let's take an example of a real-world object that we might want to represent in programming. So this dog has states, color, is it awake, and its age. And the dog also has behaviors like bark, run, and eat. The states would be represented by fields, the behaviors would be represented by methods. So what is a class? A class is a blueprint or a template for an object. So I use this picture as an example. This is not an actual car, but it's a blueprint or a template for the car. Now there are certain behaviors in Java that we can access without creating the object. We can do it simply from the class. And these are static methods in Java. And we know they're static methods because they have the word static there. For example, we can rotate the wheel in this blueprint. We can open the hood in this blueprint. That's why these are static methods. We don't need to create the actual car to use them, though we could use them on an actual car. Now non-static methods. These are behaviors that we can only access from an object. In Java, we call these non-static methods, and they don't have the word static, so that lets us know they're non-static methods. If we want to turn on the engine, we actually have to create a car from the blueprint. We have to create an instance of the class. Same thing with drive. We have to create an instance of the class and apply drive method to it. All right, so let's talk about class variables. Now, these are static fields, and these are states that belong to the class. In Java, we call these class variables, or sometimes static fields. Understand, if you change a class variable anywhere, you change it everywhere. So if we change the wheel size anywhere in any instance, or the class itself, it'll change all instances. So if we change the wheel size in one place, since the wheel size belongs to the class, it changes it everywhere. Same thing with vehicle type. We change it one place, it gets changed everywhere. We also have instance variables. And these instance variables, also called non-static fields, we can't give them an actual value. They don't have an actual value until we create an instance of the class. So we can lay out what their value will be, but we can't access that value until we create the instance. So in Java, we call these instance value variables also known as non-static fields. Only an object may have a value for the instance variables. Though, like I said, we can set out what the value will become in the uh, class. And changing the values in one object does not affect other objects. So here's an example of some instance variables. They don't have the word static, so we know they're instance variables. Color and license plate. And if we change these in one place, they only change for that particular instance. So additional notes. A static method can only access class variables. A non-static method can access class variables or instance variables. And you notice we had the private keyword on our fields. What that does is that makes it so the fields can't directly be accessed by other classes. That helps us prevent bugs, and it also helps us get a top score on an AP free response question. Here is some sample class code. So for our class Audi A8, We've got private static int wheel size. This is a class variable. It be belongs to the class. This is an instance variable. It belongs to the instance private string color. Then we have some methods. I didn't actually put the code inside it to save space. Private static void rotate wheel. This is a static method. So we don't have to create an instance to use this. We've got public void turn on engine. This is a non-static method. We can only call this from an instance. And then there's going to be some getter and setter methods that are not shown. Okay, right, here's some more sample code about how we might use the Audi A8 class. So we've got our main method. Here, I'm calling rotate wheel. I'm calling it from the class. This is legal to do because rotate wheel is a static method. Here, I'm declaring a new variable called Jane's car. The variable is of type Audi A8. 
and we're creating a new object and Jane's car has a pointer that's pointing at that new object. Then we're calling Jane's car rotate wheel. Even though rotate wheel is a static method, we can still call it from an instance. And then we're also calling start engine. Start engine is a non-static method, so we can only call this from an instance. Some additional notes. The private static int wheel size is a class variable. Private string color is an instance variable, and we know that because static means it's a class variable. No mention of static means it's an instance variable. If we make a change to wheel size, since it is a class variable, it will change the value everywhere. And if we make a change to color, which is an instance variable, it will only change the value in one instance. That concludes a basic overview of what classes are and what objects are in Java. And we'll learn more in future lessons about what we can do with these concepts.